I was sent one for a West End play, but I had to appear in the end in the nude. <laughs> See? And I, I know people can only stand so much excitement in West End. <laughs> So uh, another thing that you said last time, you see, I pick up all these things you said last time you were here. See, we were—I don't know what we were talking about. I think we were talking about New Zealand men or something. Or had you met any? What do you oh, think? But I don't know. It was one of those questions. Uh, but at the end of it, you looked straight in the camera and you said, "I'm available." <laughs> well, I'm still available. <laughs> Hang on, you keep clapping. I can't get a word in there. <laughs> no, I mean, is that? Is that true? You're still available. I mean, you, well, I haven't got any romance in your life. I mean, oh, hundreds of them, right? Mm. There's the Coleman, the Dustman, <laughs> the man who comes about the taters. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a bit difficult to have a romance when you're travelling as much as I am. But I have got me boyfriends. Oh yes, woman of friends, one. boyfriends. Oh yes. Oh, yes, I like coming to have a selection. Come and arrive Hollywood star, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> I mean, yes. Yeah. I have got a boyfriend. Yes. We're getting there, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that you were talking about last year was... We'll get off the subject, yeah. We were talking about last year was the fact that, um... You know, people were coming to you and they were asking you all sorts of lovely questions and you found it all very overwhelming and lovely and you were really enjoying it. Do you still feel the same? Yes. Is it? You're still enjoying it? The same questions? Oh, yes. Well, I suppose, really, um, people keep keep saying, how did it all start? And uh, it's, it's such a long story, and I can't believe there's anybody on the face of the earth that doesn't, that doesn't know. know. <laughs> you know, um, also, it always seems like a very simple story to me, um, but it's nice that people are interested. Yeah. I get, uh, I get continually surprised by the amount of people who say, now, how did it all start? Yeah. I say, well, I used to go down the folk club and play me guitar and that. Yeah, yeah. Has it affected any part of your private life that you... Hang on. <laughs> I mean, are, are there things that you, you can't do now that you would like to do? You I have a problem buying me underwear, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, we've got this wonderful department store in England which has to remain nameless, but it's Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> I do find now, because people sort of recognise me, everybody looks at what I'm buying. <laughs> you know, when I go along the knicker counter selecting, selecting a nice pair with elastic well up under the arms. <laughs> <laughs> I see people looking and, uh, and saying, so that is the kind of drawer she wears. <laughs> I do find a certain lack of privacy <laughs> in that respect, yes, but it's only a slight drawback. <laughs> I was denounced by the Archbishop of Canterbury from the pulpit as being a wanton hussy. I rather like that title, actually. <laughs>